Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Just Symphony, but you can call me Symphony. How y'all doing? Alright y'all, so I have another hair video here for you guys. And so this video is basically me showing you guys how to make a crochet wig. So I have my U-part wig cap. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using. And as you can see, the wig cap has combs. So we're getting straight into it, y'all. We're just going to get started. Alright, so this first maybe two clips is me showing you kind of basically how I'm crocheting the hair on so I have my crochet needle you know just stick it through one of the um, holes in the net pull the hair through open up the loop and I'm only gonna take one section of that strand and pull it through okay don't take bows I'm only taking one see and then we're just gonna pull that through and that's basically how I'm going to be crocheting crocheting this hair on you know for the entire video okay okay and so then here's the next clip just showing you how I'm going under the net, attaching the hair, pulling it through. Don't forget to close your um, hook. Open the loop, pull a strand through, and tie it. And boom, it's simple, y'all. Real simple. You know, crocheting it hard. Y'all, y'all got that. Everybody, I'm, y'all got. It. Okay. So now this is just going to be some sped up clips of me crocheting the net. Now, one thing I do want to point out, um, you can kind of do your wig to your liking okay like when i was crocheting the, crocheting the hair on i you know was spacing the hair out a little bit so they were kind of like an inch inch and a half apart if you want it to be fuller definitely go a lot closer um just so you can have that more fuller look if that's what you like but you know i had mine spaced out a little bit and then you know kind of give you an idea of how much hair i was using and you know how full my uh, wig cap was okay now um one thing i can say when you are crocheting be careful not to take the needle under more than one um hole like if that makes sense like just take it under one okay because if you take it if you grab like two or three at the same time and crochet it on it's gonna cause your cap to bunch and gather so you don't want that so just a little tip for you guys now the crochet hair that I'm using, I'm gonna have in the description bar. It's just a kinky um, crochet hair. Really, uh, y'all, this hair is so similar to my hair texture. I'm not lying. Like I may use this hair and just make like a natural puff one day. Like it's so similar to my natural hair texture. But this hair straightens really well, honestly, y'all. And what I use to straighten this hair is a blow dryer. I have this Revlon blow drying brush, and I just use that to straighten the braiding hair. And see, boom, there it is. And you know the braiding hair is straight. I mean, it's straightened really nice. Look, look at that. Look at that. Baby, that's straightened wonderfully. Look at that. Flowing. All right, you guys, on to the next step. So, like I said, this is a U part wig. This two little braids here in the top, that is going to I'm going to crochet the hair onto those. Okay? So, I almost want to say leave out, but it ain't leave out. <laughs> so, but this is how I'm going to do the top section. So, I'm not leaving my real hair out. I'm just going to crochet that hair on. And so for this part, you just want to take really small sections like this. Like, you see how small that section was? You want to take sections like that, sections of hair, and crochet that on. So a few of them I did a little big, and, you know, they need to be a little bit smaller. But, you know, real simple. And we're using the same method, you know. We're just going to crochet it on and just take one section through the loop. So it's for that invisible knot look. And in this clip, I'm just going to do this one row just so I can show you guys how that's done. But yeah, for this part, it's very important to make sure the crochet is close together. You don't want, you know how you may do with some crochet hair, you want to have like an inch apart. This hair, no, because you're going to straighten it. You want it to be pretty much just seamless close. You know what I mean? So that is really important for like a very smooth, unnoticeable look. <music> Okay, and this is what the hair looks like crocheted on. Um, look at that. Look how natural it looks. Y'all, I told y'all that looks like it could be my natural hair. Look at that. Okay, so this is the next day I straightened the hair in the top. I kind of got this Raven Simone look going on a little bit. <laughs> the way it was flipped over to the side right there. But anyway, y'all. 
all right y'all so the wig is very easy to install so i'm showing you the combs right there so what we're gonna do is just uh you know attach the combs to your braid so i'm um doing the center comb first and then once i get that on i'm just gonna do the side and that's pretty much it once you get the sides on and you know on there how you want it and adjust it well the only thing left to do is take your comb and just comb all the hair out and So I'm taking my comb and just kind of combing through and kind of moving the hairs in place so it can look natural, as you can see. You know, just take your time. Just kind of make any adjustments that you need. All right, y'all, and that is it. See, now I'm about to hit y'all with the poses because we're at the end of the video. Okay, so it's a little bit view of the back. And this is what the hair looks like. You know, it's cute, y'all very simple easy you know just take it off at night and pop it back on very very simple so i like it let me know what you think in the comments down below share this video like and subscribe to my channels see y'all